Hey guys, welcome back. Auto Care Secret here. Today we're diving into the symptoms of a bad throttle body and how to fix it. First, let's quickly go over what a throttle body does. It controls the precise amount of air that flows into your engine and is located between the air intake and the engine's manifold. There are two main types, mechanical and electronic, ETC. Mechanical systems use a cable connected to the gas pedal, while modern ETC systems use an electric motor and sophisticated sensors to help the engine control module, ECM, regulate airflow with pinpoint accuracy. Here's the kicker. When the throttle body is dirty or faulty, it disrupts this essential airflow, causing serious engine problems and unburnt fuel in the exhaust. Stay tuned, because I'll show you a simple DIY cleaning tip to keep it in top shape. Now, let's jump right into the common throttle body problems. 11 Symptoms of a Bad Throttle Body Symptoms number 1. Poor Fuel Economy A malfunctioning throttle body can disrupt the optimal air-fuel mixture. This forces your engine to work harder and consume more fuel. This inefficiency not only drains your wallet, but can also lead to increased emissions. If your mileage drops unexpectedly, a faulty throttle body could be the culprit. Symptoms Number 2. Worn Out Butterfly Valve Over time, the butterfly valve inside the throttle body can wear out or get stuck, leading to inconsistent airflow. Look for visible damage, cracks, or warping along the edges. A healthy valve should close tightly without any visible gaps. If it doesn't sit flush when closed, it needs replacing. Symptoms number three, high or rough idle. This might seem like a small issue, but it's a sign your engine isn't getting the right amount of air. If your car revs too high at a stoplight, shakes or stutters when idling, the throttle body could be the problem. The inability to precisely regulate the small amount of air needed for idle speed causes this instability. Symptoms Number 4. Sluggish acceleration Poor acceleration occurs when the throttle body can't open all the way, blocking the necessary airflow to the engine. Without enough air, the engine struggles to produce power. This makes the car feel like it lags or is struggling when you press the gas pedal. You'll especially notice it when merging onto the highway or trying to pass another car. Symptoms Number 5. Grime and carbon buildup Over time, dirt, oil, and carbon residue can build up inside the throttle body. This restricts airflow and messes with your engine's performance. Grime buildup is the most common issue and can lead to uneven idling and sluggish acceleration. The good news is that a simple visual inspection can often reveal this, and it's something you can frequently fix yourself with a thorough cleaning. Symptoms Number 6. Electrical Problems or Faulty Sensors In electronic throttle systems, the electrical components, such as sensors or wiring, can malfunction and send incorrect signals to the engine's control unit. This can lead to unpredictable throttle response, delayed acceleration, and sudden power loss. These issues often happen because of faulty sensors or poor wiring connections. Symptoms Number 7. The Check Engine Light CEL. The most common warning sign is the check engine light illuminating. When the throttle body malfunctions, your vehicle's onboard computer detects airflow and fuel mixture inconsistencies, triggering this ominous light. It's often accompanied by other physical symptoms. Don't wait for your engine to start stalling. If that light appears, it's a clear signal to investigate the throttle body. Symptoms Number 8. Engine Running Rough this occurs when the throttle body cannot accurately control the amount of air entering the engine. When airflow is either restricted or disrupted, it leads to a serious imbalance in the air-fuel mixture. This imbalance causes the engine to struggle, resulting in pronounced shaking, vibrations, or sputtering noises, especially when idling or at low speeds. Symptoms Number 9. Vacuum Leaks Added Symptom this is a critical symptom tied to the throttle body. A poor seal where the throttle body mounts to the intake manifold or a crack in the body itself 
can create a vacuum leak. This introduces unmetered air into the engine, throwing off the air-fuel ratio and causing a high or erratic idle, surging, and a general loss of power. Symptoms number 10. Car entering limp mode. This is your car's emergency protocol to protect itself from serious damage. When limp mode kicks in, your vehicle severely limits engine power, making acceleration sluggish and top speeds frustratingly low. The car does this to prevent further engine damage, but it's a sign that something major is wrong, often triggered by a malfunctioning electronic throttle body sending wildly incorrect signals to the ECM. Symptoms number 11, stalling. This one's a big deal. A faulty throttle body can't regulate airflow properly, starving your engine of the air it needs to keep running, particularly at idle. Imagine being at a red light and suddenly your car quits on you. That's stalling. It's a dangerous situation and a clear signal that your throttle body needs immediate attention. How to clean your throttle body. DIY fix. Good news. Grime buildup is a problem you can often fix yourself. Here's the simple DIY cleaning tip to restore airflow and boost performance. Gather supplies. Get a throttle body cleaner, not carburetor cleaner. A clean cloth, gloves, and a screwdriver or ratchet set if you need to remove the air intake duct. Safety. First, disconnect the negative battery terminal to ensure safety while working with the vehicle AS electrical system. Gain access. Locate the throttle body, usually between the air intake box and the intake manifold. You may need to remove the air duct and some hoses to get a clear view. Clean. Gently hold the throttle plate, butterfly valve, open. Spray the dedicated throttle body cleaner inside. Use the cloth to carefully wipe away dirt and carbon buildup around the edges. Avoid using carburetor cleaner as it can damage the specialized coatings or sensors in a modern throttle body. Reassemble. Once everything is clean, reassemble the parts, reconnect the battery, and start the engine to check for improvements. When to replace the throttle body. A throttle body usually needs to be replaced somewhere between 100,000 and 150,000 miles, but this depends entirely on your driving habits and your car's specific conditions. If cleaning doesn't resolve symptoms like rough idling, constant stalling, or power loss, replacement is the next step. After replacing the throttle body, you must perform a throttle body reset to ensure accurate throttle response and airflow regulation. And if you've got any car questions, just visit AutoCare Secret. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to more videos.